When it comes to a good night's sleep during pregnancy, many moms to be consider it an impossible dream. They often chalk up snoring, restless sleep, and daytime fatigue as a normal part of pregnancy. But these symptoms may be a sign of a more serious medical problem, such as obstructive sleep apnea. The good news, though, is that there are tests and treatments that may help change that dream of a good night's sleep into a reality. And joining us to talk about this is Dr. Jeffrey Lynn, who is the medical director of St. Luke's Sleep Medicine Institute in Nampa. Thanks for being here with us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. This is so interesting to me because I would have never thought that during pregnancy you you may have an issue that could be helped out to get give you a better night's sleep. Right. You know, for some people, they believe that obstructive sleep apnea only happens in men who are overweight. In fact, over 25% of pregnant women in a 2014 study was diagnosed with obstructive sleep apnea. Wow. And in comparison, about 10% of people in pregnancy get gestational diabetes. So obstructive sleep apnea is a medical condition that should be screened for during pregnancy. Okay, so what are um, some symptoms? I guess we talked about snoring or restless sleep? What are some symptoms? For so this? unfortunately there is no perfect screening tool to identify everyone with obstructive sleep apnea. But my usual rule of thumb is that if a mom-to-be is over the age of 30, mm -hmm. if their body mass index is greater than 29, and if they report more than three nights per week of snoring, they should consider getting screened with a sleep study. Okay, and is, is weight the only factor or are there other factors well, as they're, well? They're definitely a contributor with weight, but there are also changes during pregnancy, such as increased blood flow into the neck, as well as narrowing of the nasal and oral passages that could increase a mom-to-be's risk for obstructive sleep apnea. So what could this mean if, if someone has it? Could it be serious? Yes, so there is an increased risk of harm for moms-to-be and baby if you have obstructive sleep apnea. Okay. For moms, there seems to be an increased risk of gestational diabetes and preeclampsia. Oh, and no. for the baby, there is a, a trend for increased C-section and preterm delivery. So Dr. Lin, what does the treatment look like? Yes, so um, typically if a mom-to-be has obstructive sleep apnea, I would treat them with CPAP. Okay. And uh, you know, nowadays the CPAP machines are more advanced and more comfortable, and CPAP companies are even making CPAP machines and masks tailored for women. Wow, okay, great, and we do have some pictures. Hopefully we can um, show those as well. Because uh, we do really think that the CPAP is typically uh, older men um, who are overweight, but, but it really could be used uh, and be a lifesaver. Right, and, and in the pregnant population, they may not need to be on CPAP indefinitely. Yeah, I usually like good. to see moms and their babies back three to six months after delivery and reassess them. Okay. And if they've achieved a steady weight or if they want to try to get off of CPAP, we'll then consider doing a sleep study at that time. Okay, and talk with us a little bit about the sleep study. Is it pretty intensive or yeah, easy? So, so in the past, people imagine all sorts of wires <laughs> and, uh, yes, and yes. sleeping in a weird place. But nowadays, most patients can have their sleep studies done in the comforts of their own home. And that involves a couple of elastic belts on your chest and your belly, a monitor in your finger, as well as a nasal cannula in your nose. And then she can go to sleep whenever she wants and wake up whenever she wants. So it's something that maybe you'd want to talk with um, your OB GYN about Absolutely. possibly and yes. then go from there. Uh -huh. That might be the okay. best place to start and then if you meet the criteria and have risk factors mm -hmm. then then be referred over to the Sleep Medicine Institute. Yeah okay perfect thanks so much for being here. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank really you. Really interesting information.